Hi everyone, this is chapter 4, part 2, rectangular beam. So under our concrete design syllabus, there are two types of beam. The first one is the rectangular beam. The second one is the flash beam. In this video, I will show you the process to design flagellar reinforcement for rectangular beam. Let's start. First, you need to calculate or determine or carry out analysis of beam to determine the design moment. So this analysis is carried out using 1.35 GK plus 1.5 GQK. And you will draw the shear force diagram and also Benji Momer diagram as you learned in chapter 3. Okay, under this stage, we will determine, you will calculate the critical moment. Then, the next step is to check, do the checking, the class of the concrete. Concrete class based on Euro code. If it is less than class 50, 60, so you, you can carry out the process. Okay? If not, so we have two directions here. If no, This concrete, if the class of concrete is more than C50 or 60, this concrete is outside of our scope. And if the concrete class meets this requirement yes then we can proceed with the next step the next step is to determine k you determine k the calculation for k is m the maximum moment so you determine this m from this step this moment is from this step the design moment divided by b d power of 2 multiply with fck The next step is to calculate the K balance. Okay, so... Uh, okay, we calculate the K balance. The K balance equation is as given here. Okay, so this is the K balance equation. The next step is important steps where we make a comparison between the K and the K balance to determine either we will provide only the single reinforcement or doubly reinforcement. So the next step is check either the k is 
less or equal than k balance is the k less or equal than k balance there are two answer here the first one if yes we will proceed to this procedure if no this is the procedure okay before we go further to this step uh, i want to take note on this k balance so for this k balance please take note that for this parameter the lambda okay so equation for this parameter is lambda is moment moment after redistribution divided by moment before redistribution or if moment redistribution is zero meaning there is no moment redistribution if there is no moment redistribution thus this value is equal to one and k balance is equal to 0 0.167 Okay. Then we continue with this step. If k balance less or equal than k is sorry, if k is less or equal than k balance, if no, we need to apply compression with Forsman. is required okay if this situation if k is more than k balance we need to uh, we need to apply compression reinforcement which is secondary reinforcement in the concrete if yes if this meets okay then we only apply singly reinforcement okay For under singly reinforcement, the next step is by calculate. You need to calculate the level arm, and this is the equation for the level arm. And level arm must less or equal to 0 0.95 D okay then finally we determine our steel area this is area still so moment 
this moment is determined from this step okay the critical moment from the analysis okay m divided by 0 0.87 fyk multiply with z So, this is the process for the singly reinforcement. Then, let's look at compression reinforcement. If this K balance, K is more than, if this K balance is less than K, we need to apply compression reinforcement inside the concrete. Okay, so I have no enough space here, so I will bring this to step a okay so let's see together so this is for the compression member so compression member okay so a when k is more than k balance You need to calculate the level arm, which is Z equal to D. And this level arm must be less or equal to 0 0.95 D. Mm. You must do this checking. Okay, this is very important. Next is to determine x okay so calculate x and if by checking d prime over x if d prime over x is less or equal to 0 0.38 this is the first situation if d prime over x is less or equal to 0 0.38 Secondary reinforcement is determined using this equation. This equation. But if d prime divided by x is more than 0 0.38 secondary reinforcement which is at compression area is determined using this equation This is A S prime, A S prime to indicate that this is the area for secondary reinforcement.
after determine the secondary reinforcement then we you need to determine the main reinforcement which is tension reinforcement by using this equation plus as prime so this as prime comes from this either this equation or this equation so this is the cross section of the concrete these two at the bottom is for the tension reinforcement this is the main reinforcement so this at top uh, reinforcement is for compression reinforcement this is as and the bottom part is as and the total height the total depth is h from this to the outer surface is D and from here to this top of the surface is D prime so this D prime is here D here is here okay so you have seen the process the procedure to determine flat zero reinforcement for rectangular beam for compression reinforcement and also with the singly reinforcement thank you